Well, good morning. Good morning. It's usually good morning when I'm filming this. It's good afternoon. It's about one o'clock on Saturday and it is Weight Watchers weekly weigh-in and meeting topic. So welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're one of my oldies, welcome back. I usually film this first thing in the morning, but today I got up and did the regular Danielle stuff, washed the sheets, took a shower, blah, 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 cleaned up the house, did a quick clean. And I was gonna film and I thought, no, I wanna go run some errands. So my daughters and I went off to Starbucks. I got a medium, what is it? The brown sugar shaken espresso, that was five points and I got the turkey, the turkey bacon, egg white sandwich, and that was six points, so 11 point breakfast. It's kind of like a breakfast and a lunch, and we went to Costco, and um, what else did we do? I got my hair cut real quick. Just went in and got a, one of those cheapy haircuts, and that felt good just to get a little bit of length off my hair and uh, without spending an arm and a leg. And then, let's see, went to Costco and got my nails done, so I did a couple of fun little, little errands I try to do on Saturday just to have some time for myself and now I'm home and printed off the report and ready to tell you how I did this week. Let's just jump into it. How did I do? Let's see. All right, I am down another pound this week. I honestly can't believe it. And the reason why I say that is I was actually sick this week. I had a bad cold. And so I could not exercise every day because I literally was sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and just felt ex extremely run down. So I did not exercise every day this week like I have been. And my appetite has been a little bit off because I have a cold, I can't taste anything. I just didn't feel good. I was just trying to get through the week. I feel like 95% better today. So I definitely will exercise today. Um, so with the decrease in exercise, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but my appetite was also down. Um, and so I didn't eat as much as normal. So I am down a pound this week. So that was wonderful. I'm still in this decade, but so close to getting out of it. So hopefully maybe next week I'll be out of it, crossing my fingers. That's three weeks in a row I've had a loss. So, you know, not gonna lose every week. I mean, I don't know anyone that does. So we'll see next week how it goes. Um, but definitely, like I've been saying for the last three weeks, getting some exercise has helped me. I think all these years I've wanted to lose weight, I've just been basically maintaining it. I may have gone, you know, up eight pounds and lose it back, but I always end up right where I'm at. And I think I've just been maintaining all these years due to not really burning things off. I'm just kind of status quo uh, with a little bit, with some upward, you know, weight gains over the last few years, as you've seen. But um, that's what I've been doing all these years, mostly maintaining because I have not getting movement in. And the uh, the older Danielle used, can no longer lose weight without movement. I will just maintain and I'll stay this the rest of my life, which, you know, not what I want to do. So, <laughs> so I think that's what's been happening to me. Movement has been critical. I either do the treadmill or I do the um, glider each morning for a half hour. That's what I've been doing. Very basic, nothing over the top. I will, you know, expand upon it, but I'm lucky I do that, getting up in the morning and doing that. So that's where I'm at, down a pound. I think I'm down 9.8 pounds now. So I'm getting there, guys, I'm getting there. Um, so let me know how you guys are doing. A couple of you have said that you've been doing the same thing as me, up and down the few, a few pounds over and over and over again. You, you understand where I'm coming from. And I, I've been appreciating your support and some of you are gonna try to do some movement. If you've done anything different that's worked well for you this week, let me know. Um, it's the change of weather. A lot of people are getting sick, you know, the yucky colds and stuff like that. Holidays are coming, it's gonna start getting busy. Has anyone started? um decorating for christmas yet i am ready to get rid of all of this kind of stuff i'm like i'm ready for christmas <laughs> i am so sick of these fall decorations um we have some christmas lights on the outside of the house and the wreath on the front door and i got a new um, rug on the outside of the front door that's as far as i've gotten the kids have decorated their rooms i did get a new christmas blanket and a new Velveteen quilt, a white velveteen quilt last week at TJ Maxx and a pretty Christmas plaid 
blanket. That's as far as I've gotten in it. And I love it and the cats love it. So that was cool. My daughter Ava talked me into treating myself to a new comforter. So thanks Ava. I, it was a nice, nice thing to do and it's nice to have some new bedding. So anyway, I'm doing okay, I'm plugging along. I'm gonna have my days, you know that it's normal. But I've been having um, some success lately, which is, oh, I needed it. I really needed it, I'll tell you. So now I just gotta keep it up and keep moving, getting myself out of bed and all of that. So let's talk about the weekly topic. I have not read this, I just printed it off. So let's just dive into that. How to create a weight tracking routine. Ever forget to step on the scale, maybe even on purpose? Yes. Don't love how you feel before, during, or after you weigh yourself? Answer these questions to help you map out a confidence-boosting, progress-fueling action plan. Um, it says, try this. When and how often you weigh yourself? Choose a frequency between once a day and once a week, somewhere within there. Pick a day and time you can stick with, like first thing in the morning. I always do first thing in the morning, go potty, strip your clothes off. <laughs> no one's around, get on that scale, that's just me. Um, how will you boost your confidence beforehand? Try reflecting on a non-scale victory since, you, since your last weigh-in. That's a good thing to do, so it's not just about the number on the scale. Pump yourself up with music or relax with a few deep, mindful breaths. What will you say to yourself when you track weight in your app? Put the number in perspective. The scale is just one measure. Jones Pointed Plate always says it's a snapshot in time. You can weigh, I'm gonna throw out a number, 100 pounds at 9 a.m. and weigh 103 pounds at 11 a.m. or whatever, you know, it really varies. Um, consider encouraging words. I am strong or keep on keeping on. That's right, keep on keeping on. I say that all the time. What health promoting action will you do afterwards? It can be as simple as drinking a glass of water or going for a short walk. I just made a big water because I had that big coffee from Starbucks. So now since I had that coffee, I need to focus on the old water here. Prep or pre-track your next meal. Ugh, yeah. If I, if I could do that, that would go far. Write out your action plan. Day and time location, I will weigh myself like every Saturday at 7 a.m. Before I step on the scale, you're gonna put things into perspective. When I track my weight, I will say to myself, what I'll do right after weighing. Um, so let's dive a little bit deeper. It's, it's kind of like don't get all hung up on the scale all the time is what it's saying. Even if you want to step on the scale regularly, we, we get that it's not always easy. Aside from simply forgetting, you might put it off if you're nervous the number will go up. We've all done that, right? Or perhaps you've hit a plateau and don't want to see the same number again. That's the ostrich effect in human nature. The ostrich effect is the tendency to bury your head in the sand to avoid potentially unpleasant information or feelings. I think we've all done that. However, creating a routine that addresses the common challenges and fears associated with weight tracking can help us stick with it. And that's key since science tells us that weighing yourself regularly can help you lose more weight and keep it off. Now I have to say that when I was doing intuitive eating this time last year when I gained all kinds of weight on intuitive eating, there's nothing wrong with intuitive eating. I thought I was just sick of tracking, sick of being on Weight Watchers, blah, blah. I just wanted to be a normal person. Now what I did is I followed um, the intuitive eating program I had signed up for and you weren't supposed to get on the scale. And so I put my scale away. Well, that, that was not good for me. I know that that gets you away from always thinking about numbers. Then I didn't know where I was at. I'm better off keeping in track of where I'm at with my weight. Everybody's different. Some people say, Danielle, shame on you for what, I don't know what people think. But by me stepping away from the scale for a couple of months was not good for me because I keep myself in track. If I see it going up, I'm like, hmm, I need to be careful, keep, be mindful about what I'm eating, that type of thing. Um, although our weight can go up for all kinds of things too, right? So how? Tracking your weight makes you more aware of how your choices and behavior impact your progress. Doing it frequently takes the pressure off of any single day or number so you can see trends. 
and the big picture rather than focus on normal and insignificant fluctuations. You could be bloated. Maybe you had a big dinner the last night. Maybe you're due for your period. Maybe your medications are doing something. Maybe, you know, stress can make you gain weight, the cortisol or whatever. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Um, we all know our weight can fluctuate great, great, greatly. And, you know, getting on that scale... It's a, like they say, it's a snapshot in time. It could be different an hour later if you go potty, okay? And though it says, all, and those are the things that help you navigate your way to your goals. So it was teaching you how to track your weight regularly, pick a time, how to look at non-scale victories, how to self-coach yourself, um, how to boost your confidence, how to accept it and move on, and how to tell yourself, keep on keeping on, right? We're all just trying to get healthy. Um, some of us that watch my channel are on a program, not on a program. Some people um, are trying to lose weight, maintain. Um, there's people out there that need to gain weight, right? I mean, we're all in different places in our lives with, with our little health journey that we're on. So yeah, that's about it, you guys. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. I'm not always gonna lose, I'm very aware of that. I would like to not have any major gains. Um, I don't usually gain a lot of weight over the holidays. Um, Halloween was tricky, I definitely, definitely had Halloween candy, definitely, um, throughout the week. I think because I didn't feel good, I wasn't eating as much, and so when I ate that Halloween can candy this week, it didn't throw me over the edge, but I definitely had more Halloween candy than I should have this week um, from my kids. <laughs> So, um, Halloween, tell me if Halloween is hard for you guys. Halloween is always hard for me. Like, I can't even believe I lost a pound this week. I really think part of it was that I was not feeling well this week and I didn't have, I couldn't taste anything. I think my daughter even brought me a Starbucks. I couldn't even taste it. So it was just kind of an off week, I'd say. Um, but yeah, that's the way it goes. It's life. So nothing else too exciting going on, guys. I'm going to go put my clean bedding on my bed. I think I'm going to wash my kitchen floor. Very exciting here, right? So um, that's about it. We'll see where the day takes us. I don't know if I'm going to have a cooking video for you guys tomorrow. I was looking at recipes. I haven't shopped for anything or hammered anything down. So there may or may not be a video tomorrow. I think we are having a tag next week that I still have to film. So um, yeah, so I'll see. If not, you will definitely see me in the tag because I will get that done. <laughs> So let me know how your week's going. Let me know if you started holiday shopping, holiday decorating. Um, what's working for you guys this week? So you guys take care again, and thank you for all your support. I've got some new people that came on. I think I've got new, 30 new subscribers in the last month, which is a lot for my little channel. So welcome, and I hope um, you can learn a lot. We have a lot of great people, a lot of great comments, and I learn a lot from your comments that you guys can spread to help each other. So. Have a great rest of your weekend. It's beautiful here in Michigan. It was nice taking an errand today and listening to Christmas music. And it's just been a beautiful start of my day. And I just want to get this video out to you guys to let you know how I'm doing. So you guys take care and I'll see you soon. Bye, honey bunnies. Take care. Have a good week.